In the world of real estate, there are two phrases that are thrown around a lot, earnest money and option money. If you're new to the game, it can be easy to get them mixed up or even think they're the same thing. But trust me, understanding the difference between these two is critical if you want to navigate the real estate deals like a pro. One common misconception about earnest money and option money is that they're used interchangeably but that could be further from the truth. In reality, earnest money is a deposit made by the buyer to show that they are serious about purchasing a home, while option money is a fee paid to the seller for the right to terminate the contract. Other misconceptions is that earnest money is always refundable, which is not always the case. In some cases, the money can be forfeited if the buyer backs out of a deal without a valid reason. On the other hand, option money is usually non-refundable and that's what makes it valuable to sellers. Some people think that earnest money and option money are only used for a specific type of real estate tra transactions like residential or commercial deals. But the truth is these concepts can be applied to any type of property sale from apartments to land purchases. It's all about understanding the purpose behind each one. Additionally, some folks believe earnest money and options are used to lock in a sales price or terms of the deal. While it's true, they can also be tied into specific conditions. Their primary function is to provide a level of commitment and flexibility in the negotiating process. Earnest money is a deposit made by a buyer to demonstrate their commitment to purchase a home. It's usually a percentage of the sale and is held in an escrow account until the deal is finalized. On the other hand, option money is a fee paid to the seller for the right to terminate the contract. This fee gives the buyer an out if they decide not to move forward with the purchase. A good example of how earnest money work is when you put an offer on a house. You'll typically include an earnest money deposit it shows the seller you're serious about buying the home. If an offer is accepted, the earnest money is applied to the down payment or closing cost. But if you back out of the deal without a valid reason, you could forfeit that money. Option fee, on the other hand, is often used in situations where the buyer needs time to evaluate a home before making a final decision. By paying an option fee, the buyer can secure the right to terminate the contract if they decide not to move forward. This provides a level of flexibility in the negotiating process and gives the buyer more control. Understanding the difference between earnest money and option money can significantly impact the buyer or seller strategy in a real estate transaction. By knowing how to use these tools effectively, you can gain a competitive edge in the market and avoid costly mistakes. Make no mistake, earnest money and option money are not the same thing and understanding their differences can make the difference in the, your real estate journey. So remember, earnest money is a deposit that shows commitment while option money is a fee that provides flexibility. Now that you understand the difference between earnest money and option, let's talk about what could prevent you from closing on your dream home. Did you know that certain mortgage mistakes can derail the purchase of your dream home? Unfortunately, many home buyers are unaware of these pitfalls. In this video, Rosa will walk you through seven critical mistakes that could block your home purchase. Click here to watch now.